guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lillian and welcome to episode three of this home season series. So I'm doing this series where I share vegan recipes every Sunday um, because we are fasting, us Christians are fasting up until Easter, so we're eating vegan only. And today, as you can see, there's lots of natural lighting because this is like the first real spring day. And I know it's not officially spring yet, but this English weather ain't it. Like I was feeling so depressed because of the weather and the sun is out, it's actually hot outside, so I am super happy. And because of that, I was like, why not make something a little more, you know, summer-ish? So I'm gonna make a vegan potato salad. I'm not gonna talk too much, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get updated every time a new recipe is out. And let's get straight into the video. So these are the ingredients. We need some potatoes. These are baby potatoes. Um, I just had to get them out of the pack because some of them were growing roots, so I had to remove that. Then we have some paprika or bell pepper. I have half of a bell pepper. Cucumber, tomato, red onion, and some garlic. And I will use vegan mayo for the dressing, but I'll also add some other seasoning, so I will show you guys uh, when I do that. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to start off with washing these, cutting them in half, and boiling them. Add a little bit of salt, and I'm gonna let them cook on high heat until they get soft. Hey guys, I'm so sorry, but I forgot to record the part where I'm cutting the onions and the bell pepper, but this is me showing it in a bowl. I'm sorry if there's not much talking going on. It's just because this recipe is so simple that there's not really much explaining to do. <laughs> so I cut up all the veggies and I just cut it up in like small pieces. You can do whatever you prefer. And I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil and some seasoning and check on the potatoes as well. Please ignore the seasoning going everywhere in this video. I don't know why I wasn't paying attention to it, but I just wanted to say I was literally freestyling the seasonings and also the measurements. So you really just want to taste while you're doing this. Also, I added some chili powder because ideally you want to add fresh green chilies, but I didn't have any fresh chilies, so I just added some powder for a little spice. I was just tasting it and it reminded me of this pasta salad that I made earlier this week. And it is so good, it's made with vegan pesto and basically the same type of veggies that I use here. But if you guys want a separate video on this one, let me know and I can make that for you. I'm kind of testing things and trying out new recipes. So this pasta salad that I made was very random and kind of in a rush because I had to bring something to uni. I'm currently buried in deadline, so I've been spending my days at the university library, but it's just been hard when you're fasting and there's not many options out there besides like fries. So, and we don't have a microwave on campus, which we did have in my university in the Netherlands. We had a microwave on campus, so everyone would always bring homemade food and then warm it up. Um, but I can't do that now, so I have to think of cold dinner, like cold dinner or lunch package that I can bring to school. That's why I didn't film it, but I will definitely repeat that recipe again this month, so I will do that for you. I'm also gonna do a full recipe, full madames, 
and what else is there? I want to do some burritos, um, a chickpea salad. So yeah, lots of recipes coming up, but let me know in the comments what else you guys want to see. I, it's mostly cooking. If you guys want me to bake anything, I can do that too. I'm just not that great at it, besides the vegan cinnamon rolls, but I already have a recipe of that. So I'll link it up here, but I won't do that again because that might be a little boring for you guys. But I might try the banana bread though. I really want to try that. But every time I wait for my bananas to get ripe and then they get too ripe and then it's like, oh. Okay, so the potatoes are cooked as you can see. I rinsed them in cold water, but <laughs> they're still hot. And I'm just going to pour this in there because I think that the pot is a bit bigger than this bowl. <laughs> I think I have a little too much of the veggies, but I don't mind it at all. So I'm going to add some mayo. Hopefully there's enough in here. There's a lot of mayo in this bottle, but it's just stuck up there. Okay, I think I put a little too much lemon juice, so I just drained it in here. I don't want mashed potatoes, but I'm gonna mash it a little bit. I think I could have let them cook even a little longer, but these are baby potatoes, so they don't get that soft. And they still have the skin on them, of course. Oh my god, I just tasted this. And it tastes so good. I'm gonna add a little bit of the dressing that I had, the lemon juice. Just a little bit, because I don't want it to be too watery, but it just needs a little bit of sourness to it. And as you can see, I'm really like, trying to get it a bit more smooth. I am going to bake these baguettes in the oven and then I'll be back with the end result and a taste test. I have the sandwich right here. You can also eat it like, have a bowl of the potato salad and just dip your bread in there. But well, let's try it. Mm -mm. It's 5 p.m. and this is my first meal of the day. <laughs> This is why I cannot do, like, I was thinking of doing a what I eat in a day own version, but I can't do it because I literally, my meals are so irregular, so you guys are just going to have to deal with these recipes for now on. <laughs> but yeah, this is really good. I hope you guys try out this recipe. Tag me on Instagram if you try out this recipe. It is so delicious. It's like the perfect lunch or even dinner meal if you want to. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on every new recipe that comes out. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. God bless. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.